What does it mean when you say, I am a fraud, or there is fraudulent activity going on? I am a fraud. And the chances are, a lot of you that are listening to this are probably frauds too. And here's the encouragement, and I want to put this up on the front end. Uh, it sounds like a compliance discussion. No, Patrick, is not, fortunately. Um, I want to go ahead and put this on the front end and say that if you feel like a fraud, it's probably a good thing. In fact, it's probably a great thing. It probably means that you're trying to do something you've never done before. Probably means you're pushing the boundaries of, of achievement in your life. It probably means you're pushing the envelope in trying new things, going after different things, going after bigger goals than you've ever gone after. But here's the thing, this, this whole uh, idea of, of being a fraud, it's, it's real and, and it can be emotionally, um, what's the word, tumultu tum tumultuous? What does that mean when, it's t when you're in turmoil? Uh, it can be a mental battle uh, with, that, with your internal dialogue when you're in those situations. So here's what I mean by that. So what does it mean to be a fraud? Well, if you're doing something you've never done before, but you're doing it with the confidence that you're going to crush it, the confidence that you can achieve it, that there's no question, with the confidence that you have the skills and abilities to execute on what you're trying to do, that in itself would put you in a fraudulent position, right? And so therein, it would make you a fraud. And that's what, what immediately came to my mind is, is with social media in this fake it till you make it place that so many are in. Mm -hmm. and, and I don't think it's always, malicious isn't the right word, like I don't think it's always in an attempt to um, like pull something over on someone or an right. attempt to um, you know actually be a fraud, it's just trying to get further in someone honestly mistaken that is trying to portray something they're not in order to become that right it's just getting outside that comfort zone and embracing that discomfort like that's one of the biggest things that i preach on is is embracing discomfort if you seek comfort the world will deliver you pain if you seek pain and discomfort the world will only deliver you pleasure and it sounds crazy, but I've just seen it come true time and time and time and time again. No different than when you're working out. You know, if you work out till it hurts, it's probably where the improvements are going to come from. If you just go in there and feel good and have a good time, you're probably not going to get anything out of it. Um, it's just the same thing with life. So all this stuff is so uncomfortable for me, but it's just putting me outside of my comfort zone on a, on a daily basis. Okay, last question. I encourage you to go out and feel like a fraud. I encourage you to go out and put yourself into a situation that makes you uncomfortable. Put yourself into a situation where you feel that you may not have the skills and abilities to get it accomplished, but you're gonna go execute it on it anyways. And that is a fraudulent environment. And so I would encourage every single person as a part of my quest this year of getting uncomfortable and seeking pain, seeking discomfort, it's seeking fraudulent environments, seeking environments that you can be in where you feel like, hey, I don't belong here. Who am I? Who am I to be sitting here having this conversation? Who am I to be in this room with these people right now speaking on their level? Who am I to be you know, at this income level, to be living in this house, to be having these things? Who am I? That in itself is a fraudulent environment to be in. And I can tell you that if you wanna grow, if you want to change, you are gonna constantly have to be in fraudulent environments. You're gonna constantly have to feel like a fraud, like an imposter, like you don't belong there. And then you have to rise to the occasion, step up and own it.